Hi everyone. It's been a while since I come with a project. Here I have a junk journal and I made it using an online class from Nick the Booksmith. The album covers measure five and three quarters by eight and three quarters and my spine is two and a quarter. I've used some quilting material on the cover, a journal plate, and the paper that I used is a paper line from Stamperia and it's called Winter Tales. It has six signatures and it has 216 pages front and back. And this is what it looks like. I have a sorry silk closure and I will start right into the journal. I've, um, I've, used, I've used some uh, white gold to kind of distress the edges a bit just to make the, uh, the cording pop here and um, I just like the looks of it, so. And here is my journal. Hopefully I'm still in frame. So I have a cover here. I didn't put anything on the cover because I kind of enjoyed this, the, the image. I have sewn some lace pages in here. These are from samples from um, upholstery books. And uh, somebody gave me that a long time ago. So I kind of enjoyed using those in here. And the paper is really, really pretty. I have some dictionary pages. And here I chose the word winter. And then I've got a pocket here, a journal card. And then this here is actually some calculator tape that I've done some stenciling and coffee dyeing on it. I've sewn some lace on my pages. This is a paper clip tuck. And then I've done a bit of stamping and some collages on the flowers. This is a lace tuck up on top with a journaling card. I've stamped some coffee stains. This is some old book pages from an Eaton's catalog, an old Eaton's catalog. This is a belly band. So it's got two belly bands. So one here, one here, and then it has two pockets. And then I have a tuck spot on the top and the bottom, and I also have a pocket here and here. I really like this page. I've got some old notebook pages that are, I think I tea stained these ones actually. This is a traveling um, notes and doodles. This is some more from the Eaton's catalog. Stenciling, stenciling. This is an old um, journal page that my friend gave me and I scanned it and just, I use it in my journals. Another tuck spot on top with some lace and a journaling card. This is the other half of the dictionary page. Really pretty images. And there's a lace. And then this is the second signature. I did some sewing with some material up on top. Some stenciling here. Stenciling. Some pretty lace. Some more from the Eaton's catalog. This is a recipe card. Just sewed some extra cutoffs for a tuck spot. Another dictionary page, and this one has the word snow. And I made a lace pocket on the bottom of that one. Beautiful lace on the on the edge of the pages. Another tuck spot here. This is a tuck spot here behind the horse. And the fairy, another journaling card, 
another tuck spot here. Music sheets. And then I'm starting the third signature. Just beautiful images. This is another tuck spot from the old Eaton's catalog. Here's some sorry silk ruffle. And here's a little journaling booklet. And then a corner tuck and journaling spot. Some pom-pom trim. And here, sorry about that. Here I have uh, beads on a garment pin and another tab. A page from a stamp book. More journaling cards. Another page from the stamp book. And here I made a corner pocket with a dictionary page and journaling and an old um, math card. Ledger paper. Another tuck spot made with the old Eaton's catalog. And now it's another signature. And this one I sewed the circles onto the lace here. And these are the cutouts from the paper collection. This is just a tuck spot. And this is another tuck spot here. Some stamping and some stenciling. A belly band. And then this is just a journaling page. A belly band here with a little bit of lace. Tuck spot and a journaling card. And a postcard. And here's another bead dangle. Another page from the stamps, stamp, an old stamp book. These are journaling cards that I have. And then a belly band. And here there's some more journaling. Another journaling card. And here's another, another tuck spot from the Eaton's catalog. Another journaling card and a corner tuck. And here's a, a snippet from my snippet roll. I made a paper clip. And then this is a, just a page and that was on the paper clip. And here I have a time card. Another lace. And now we're starting another signature. Postcard. Another tuck spot from the Eaton's catalog. Some burlap, up, or not burlap, uh, canvas, old ledger, eyelet trim, tuck spot, and here I, I glued a circle embellishment from the paper line. And then two more recipe cards in the center. Another tuck spot with a journaling card. There's a coffee stained index card. Another tuck spot here, stamps, more writing paper.
And this is the last signature. And then there's a tuck spot. There's a writing piece of paper. Sorry, I keep moving my tripod. And here's another bead dangle and another canvas tab. And here's a tuck spot here and then just a little journaling card. Lots of sewing. Capture the moments, just a little journaling card. This is another paper clip tuck. Another tuck spot here. I like the stenciling on there. Another tuck spot here. And then here's another journaling piece of paper with the months and the dates. And this is an envelope. And then it's coffee stained and I added another traveling location date. And so that's another traveling piece of paper to journal on. Here's some ephemera, another um, snippet paper, uh, paper clip. Let's go the other side. Some more canvas tabs and then this is the last page and there's the back and I just signed it here and this is the back of the journal so this is my journal I hope you like it and um, thanks talk to you later bye